What's up guys? My name is DJ Cobb 97 Welcome to my channel. I recently survived the first 100 days in my hardcore Minecraft world. This took many practice attempts and a lot of trial and error. All the music in this video was produced by me. If you like these beats, maybe I'll post them as separate videos. In Hardcore Minecraft, you're only given one shot, one chance to survive as long as possible. If I die even once, I lose everything I've built, everything I've worked for. I'm not the best Minecraft player, so I set just a few goals for this first 100 days. First off, I want to obtain villagers and start breeding them. I want to build a quick starter house and an iron farm. On top of that, I hope to defeat the ender dragon and acquire my first set of wings. I'm talking about the elytra. Once I've acquired the ability to fly, my world will open up immensely. If you like this video, it would mean the world to me if you'd subscribe. I put well over 100 hours into the making of this one video. Alright guys, let's get into it. I'm just going to skip you guys to day 6 because days 1 through 5 were pretty boring. I basically just found enough iron to make armor and then I found a village so I could start bringing villagers back to my spawn. Alright villager. So I should probably take this time to let you know that I suffer from something I call gaming related rage disorder. What this means is when things go wrong or when things don't go my way in game, I begin to rage uncontrollably, blowing things completely out of proportion. Uh, the biggest trigger for my GRRD is villagers and anything having to do with moving villagers or breeding villagers. So yeah, just wanted to give you fair warning for that. All right, go ahead, buddy. Nope, nope, I, nope, dude, no. Nope, not today. Nope, I know what you're trying to do, dude. I. I've, I've dealt with you people before. Come on, idiot. You're stupid. I just need you up like two more levels. Yep, you're getting it. Good job, good job. Man, you, you're being... Ugh, you Just, yep, yep. Yep, up there, up there, up there. Okay, do what you want. But no, get the boat. Idiot, 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 idiot. Get him in the boat, get him in the boat. Get in the boat, get in the boat. Okay, that works perfectly. Wait, did I just totally go the wrong way like an idiot? Yeah. That is what I did. <laughs> Let's see where he goes. Let's see what his intentions are. Okay, what what are you going to do here, man? Because it's kind of up to you how this goes from here. Okay, you want to do that, huh? Come here, idiot. For the bed, will he be attracted to the bed? No, he's just a fool. He's just an idiot. Come here, you fool. Thank God I only need to get two villagers and I can breed them. Yeah, go back up there, dude. Come on. I know you I know you liked it up there. Come on, asshole. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Now get in my boat. I could grab three things of kelp and start getting that fuel situation started. I'm going to plop down a furnace right here. And start cooking a stack of kelp here. I'm going with the acacia boat. Let's get rid of that. Don't need it. Hey, you, pal. Hey, buddy. Yeah. You are going to love the new place, buddy. Nothing there yet, but there will be. And it's going to be an iron farm that your uh, sole purpose is to is to make possible. Aren't you special? All right, farmer. Why are you still a farmer, dude? I should have broken his block. All right, villager, let's get this bread, dude. Are you trying to go back to your fucking village? Good luck with that. Yeah, why is he still a farmer? Huh? We never traded, pal. Do what you want. You're going to come what way I want you to. You go, dude. Oh, my God, idiot. 
Really? You want to be in the water? Okay. Okay. So I got the villagers back here. That's honestly the probably the shittiest part of doing anything that involves villagers. Dude, are you stupid? You really just want to float around the water? I mean, I guess I don't have him where I need him yet. I will kill you, dude. What? Why does he keep going back in the water, man? They, like, seriously need to vastly improve villagers' AI, because they are fucking stupid. Yeah, you want to come walk up these stairs? I know you love stairs. Oh my god, idiot. Come on, come on. You're almost there, buddy. You're almost to the right Y level. Okay. You stupid fucking idiot. You fucking God fucking damn it, dude. I'm gonna rage. <laughs> I fucking hate villagers. I might kill him. I might kill him. And go back and get another one. Really, dude? Oh my f Get in the boat! You what the f was that? He fucking walked on top of the fucking boat. Oh my god, oh my god. Get in the boat, idiot! Oh my I'm about to lose it, and that is when I kill him. That is when I kill this guy. Why is that happening? Calming down, even though I'm probably not even halfway to as rageful as I'll get today. I get that he's not going to walk exactly where I want him to walk. But really, he's going to keep repeatedly walking down to the f***ing water. Also, why is he still a farmer, honestly? What the f***? Let's see. See how, see how smart you are, buddy. Yep, yep, okay. So far, showing great promise. Great promise. Yeah, yeah. Continue upwards. Continue upwards. Yes, yes. This is exactly your destiny. Oh my god. Dude, you are a god. You... Come on, just get in the boat. Get in the boat. You're about to win the... Nice! Best villager I've ever had the pleasure to work with. After I secured my villagers, I went around doing some random stuff like strip mining, gathering wood. A few days later, I learned a sobering lesson about being aware of my surroundings. So here you can see there's two creepers. The one on the left is the one I can see, and the one on the right I am completely oblivious to. Here you can see it again on my pause screen. And this wasn't really a close call or anything, but it definitely taught me to be more aware of my surroundings. Oh my God. All right, let's solve that issue, okay. I had been going back and forth from putting the finishing touches on my house to killing the golems that were spawning around my villagers for the iron. I made one major miscalculation though. See this block here? Yeah, I was using this block to gain access to the top of this wall so I could throw food to my villagers. When I aggroed this golem here, I did not take this block into account. When he got up on this platform, I realized that he was now not three blocks below me and I was no longer safe. I thought that just placing one more block would get me three blocks above him, making me safe. But I didn't realize that that platform would allow him to step on the block that I had placed that I had been using to get up. So then this happened. Oh, oh, no! I died. Serious? Uh, what did it? A golem in one hit. Yup, you saw that correctly. I just died. You know what that means. I just lost everything. All my struggling with the villagers, the house that I had designed and built, all in vain. I had to start over, which I promptly did. This world that I just died in was titled This Is The One. So I decided to give my next world a fitting title as well.
honestly. <laughs> okay, so do I build the same house again, or do I have to design a new house now? All right, if I make shot of this alive. Yo, shoot this creeper. Oh, oh, what? What's good, bitch? If I kill this skeleton, then this is the world where I will live forever. <laughs> so, yeah, I died again. It was kind of on purpose. I didn't really love the seed. And then I decided to give my next attempt an even better name, which would force me to stay alive for as long as possible. So the name I went with was the story of DJ Cobb 97. I'm going to skip the first few days again because, again, all I did was find enough iron to make armor and find a village to bring villagers back to my spawn. I retired my first set of armor. I need a glow thing so I can make it glow, but first iron set. Here's the enchanting setup. Yeah. Did the same build that I wanted to do because since I didn't quite get the chance to add the finishing touches in my other world where I died. All right. Please don't hear a gas right off the bat. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love spawns like this. Oh, let's, uh, let's not forget these. I think so. Wait, what the f***? What the f***, dude? Does it have to be on the other side of it? I don't get it. Okay, maybe the, do the door needs to be on the inside. Will it not let me, uh... Dude, what the f***, man? Do I have to do pressure plate, maybe? Okay, would this work? And then I can get in like this? Oh, it's f***ed. How do you get back in? Do I have to do a button? Okay, let me just test the mechanic of the button to see if it's going to work. Okay. I think that's going to work. I hope it doesn't hold me up ever, but... I hope it doesn't hold me up ever, but... I was just saying, if I made it to the Ender Dragon that one time in Hardcore without any potions, then with potions I should be f***ing lethal. And this nether should watch the f*** out for me. Okay. Ooh, we got an Enderman. Let's do that. Oh, wait. What's the way to kill Enderman? Don't you tower up three blocks, babe? Oh, my God. There's three Endermen. Is it three blocks, babe? Oh, my God. There's so many. There are so many. So, some background information here. Up till this point in my life, I've always used the proper method to kill Endermen, where you either dig yourself into a wall or put blocks above your head. Something to ensure that the Endermen can't get to you and you can safely kill them. Recently, me and my girlfriend saw a video where some guy used a different method, and what he did was he towered up three blocks and killed the Endermen that way. And I thought, oh, wow, that looks so much easier and quicker than the method I've always used. So for some reason, idiotically, I thought it would be a great idea to try this method for the first time in my hardcore world. Uh, let's see how it worked out. Oh, shit. Shit. What the f How did I get knocked off? Oh, 
fuck, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh my god, this is not how I'm going out, mother. Remember when I said? I hope it doesn't hold me up ever, but. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my fucking god! Why the f did that not work? Okay, I'm never doing that again. Never doing that again. Nope, I'm digging. I'm doing the digging in method every time from now on. Eventually, it started to dawn on me that I was going to have to pick up the pace if I wanted to achieve all my goals within the 100 days. I had kind of spent a lot of time lollygagging, a lot of nights I had slept to avoid the phantoms. So, I entered the nether with the intention of finding a fortress, and this is what happened. Back in hell once again. I mean, I should not be messing with these guys, but check this out. Check this out. They're afraid of these. Oh, heck yeah, dude. That is lit. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Why? 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 What the? What the f- Yeah, w oh, you little bitch. Nah, you're dying. I don't care if you're a kid. I'm killing you. Motherfucker. Uh, my heart just went in my ass, dude. I didn't even know what was happening. Oh my gosh, dude. Jeez. It's not healthy how much my heart rate shoots up in these situations. Okay, we are gonna want some of this guy's tears. Return to sender. Hell yeah. Where's that? Oh my gosh, dude. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get his ass. Oh, I got his ass. Ah, how do you send it back? We're playing ping pong, bro. All right, you're served. Bitch. Yeah, the dogs are all dead. Oh, I got him, dude. You, you see that? I just played ping pong. Dude, what? This is weird. There's... Oh! Ha, ha. What's up, bitch? Gosh, dude, what the f oh my gosh This is ridiculous. I have never spent this long in the nether without finding a fortress. I don't think ever in my life, honestly Gosh, dude This is insane Is that a fortress? Ah That's all right. That's all right We're good. We're cool. That's a fortress Oh, here we go. Got that fire res on me. Dude, these guys don't even know what's coming in this fortress, bro. They have no idea that they are about to be full frontal assaulted. 
unlike anything they've ever seen. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go! Gang! Alright, let's ensafen this from Wither Scales. Boom. Ledge ensafened. Okay. Yeah, you want a kiss? Alright, come here. Oh, how'd you like that? Is it your first time, or...? Oh, we got our first blaze. Go ahead. Throw your fire, bitch. Throw your fire, bitch. What are you going to do? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, what you going to do about it? What you going to do about it? Oh, little bitch boy. <laughs> oh, what you going to do about it? Whoa, where am I? Where am I coming from? Can't even see me, dude. Ah, oh, frick. Okay, well that's not fair. There's a lot of them aiming at me. All right, you know what we're doing here? Is taking no risks, bro. Because what is this? It's fucking hardcore. Oh, I just took advantage of you hardcorely. Maybe a blaze spawner right above us. There is. Okay, here we go. Dude, that is a godsend, bro. A godsend. A, f a freaking godsend. The it runs away from you. It f it renders them useless. I mean, they're only a threat if you don't know what you're doing. All right, all right. Let's go. What was there any other hoglins that want it? Cause I've got a scary mushroom for you if you want to come mess with me. So it's like, yeah, piglins, hoglins, boom. Gold pants, mushroom. Not a threat. You're basically in peaceful mode if you do that. Is that a different fortress? I'm ready. Oh, looks like we got a blaze spawner right here. Oh, shit. I'm not wearing gold anymore. Dude, you're not going to win, bro. I will f you up. Is that, that's another fortress. <laughs> I found a third fortress even closer. Even closer. Like, right up. Yeah. Ah, oh, a warped forest. God. How comforting. That would have been a lava disaster. <laughs> what a successful nether visit. I have figured out how to safely do the nether. At this point I had all the ender pearls and blaze rods that I'd need to make the eyes of ender to find the stronghold. The last thing I wanted to do before fighting the dragon was to build the iron farm.
Interesting, what the hell? Oh, you stupid f***ing idiot! God, idiot. Oh, you f***ing idiot. Get in there. Oh my god. I f***ing hate dealing with villagers. So this iron farm I'm building requires a zombie, and normally you'd put a name tag on the zombie to stop it from despawning, but I had spent hours looking for a name tag in this world to no avail. Uh, luckily, I found out that there's another way to stop mobs from despawning. So if you throw down a piece of armor and a zombie picks it up, that will actually stop the zombie from despawning. So I was able to build the farm without a name tag. I had to move the last two villagers away from the iron farm. I was trying to get them in separate boats so I could move them over one by one, but when I placed the boat down for the librarian, the other guy jumped in the boat with him before I could set one down for him. That really pissed me off and my rage was already running high from dealing with the other villagers as well as the zombie from the iron farm. So I gave him one more chance, and when I set the boat down the second time for the librarian, he pulled the same stunt and jumped in the boat with him. I instantly, in a blind fury, well, you'll see what I did next. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, seventy-three days without murdering a villager. Now zero. Wait, what? How? You f***ing idiot, dude! Did you not just watch me f***ing murder your friend? I just killed your homie, dude. Do you really want to f with me? <laughs> hell, hell yeah. It's good. It's working. Well, I f***ing did something. Look, there's a golem being killed. I got the f***ing... 
iron farm built. God. And I, I murdered a villager out of, like, raw, like, obviously, no one's watching the stream. But uh, you wouldn't be able to tell from the stream how f***ing pissed I was when I killed the villager. But I was, like, so f***ing pissed. I just murdered a villager with my fist. I wanted it to be slow. I wanted him to, like, realize, like, that I'm not just beating him. Like, I'm killing him. Like, I wanted to watch as he realized that this is the day he dies. As he realized that it was his own insubordination that got him where he was. Like, that if only he could have been not a piece of the villager. Well, hell yeah. Now I've got an OP source of iron. I don't know what to do. It was time to defeat the Ender Dragon. I was coming close to the end of the 100 days, and I couldn't put it off any longer. I crafted my Eyes of Ender and headed off to find the Stronghold, a little bit nervous because this would be my first time defeating the dragon by myself. Tried it? Whoa! Dude, these things f you up, bro. I gotta kill that guy. I can't just let you f me up like that, man. <gasps> nuh uh! No f***ing way, dude. Okay. Okay, well. My first trident ever. <laughs> dude, can you guys f off, dude? I have to do, bruh. We're already here. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> dude, f these guys, man. What a stupid way to kill creepers. Oh, sh bald, huh? These guys bald, dude. Just what's going on? Resetting every time I open the door. Jeez. Okay, go break the spawner. Go break the spawner. He wants me to wait? Well, tell him to get on, dude. Tell him he has about one minute. Because I've got to go before the nerves eat me alive. No, dude, this is for real. I already did a test run, and I died. So <laughs> let's get it, dude. Come on. <laughs> All right, well, let's put in the pearls. Put in the eyes. Oh, there we go. All right, well, I'm gonna have to do the whole thing with this thing on my head, so that's gonna be fun. Let's get it.
Oh, yeah. this is the cycle, bro. This is it. This is the story of DJ Cobb 97. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Now my life's complete. Ah, I'm so close. Come on, 68. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, and that's it on day 83, boys. Elytra by day 100, easily. Probably by 85. We'll see. All right, now I've got to get the egg. Okay, let's see. I believe I can mine the egg, right? And then it will teleport, right? Okay, then here's how you do it. Got to put a torch, let it fall. Boom, dragon egg. What's up? What the fuck is up? Defeating the Ender Dragon was a pretty huge milestone in surviving the first hundred days, but the end hadn't seen the last of me yet. I headed home to make some preparations and headed right back into the end to find an end city. All right, back to the end. The shit, motherfuckers. Yeah. Check me out. I'm breaking. I'm <laughs> ending. <laughs> I will fucking swipe. I will side swipe him. It's a drive by. What's up? To negative 143, 2936K. Okay. Back in my house, let's get an aerial view. I know I'm not supposed to use rockets a lot, but. What does my world look like? Oh my gosh. I am watching the sunrise as it turns from day 99 to day 100. Why can't I just, yeah, celebratory wasting of fireworks. 100 days survived. Holy shit, I did it. Got the house. Got the shulkers, got the iron farm. Well, that was it, guys. 100 days survived in hardcore Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching. My name is DJ Cobb 97 and I'll be back for another video once I make it to 200 days.